The audio has issued an expression of intent seeking partners for the development of an indigenous turret assembly for 20mm cannon based turret gun system for aerial platforms. India will start the delivery of first battery of Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles to Philippines next week, and the remaining two batteries will be delivered later in 2024. A video has emerged on social media that shows the 10,000 km range Russian X-101 air-launched cruise missile releasing decoy flares in flight, which marks the first time such countermeasures have been observed on this advanced weapon. Indian Army's Subtu Shakti Command has successfully conducted firing tests of Akash surface-to-air missiles, that showcased its precision by hitting all airborne targets. Godrej Aerospace and Paninian India Private Limited have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to accelerate the design development and delivery of engines for airborne and naval platforms. Indian Coast Guard has decommissioned two hovercrafts in Gujarat after two decades of service to the nation. In a historic development, Assam's 44-year-old insurgent group Alpha has signed a peace accord in the presence of Home Minister in New Delhi. The ISRO has announced significant progress in its development of Mach 5 Plus scramjet engine technology, which apart from space exploration potential, holds the key to immense military applications like long-range strike capabilities. ISRO is also designing a hypersonic vehicle specifically for long-duration scramjet engine testing in real-world conditions. ISRO is also developing high-temperature materials, supersonic combustion chambers, and efficient air intake systems. ISRO will use homegrown ISRO scene fuel for its scramjet engine, in order to avoid any dependence on imported fuels. National Aerospace Laboratories has revealed the wind tunnel testing model of the Autonomous Flying Wing Technology Demonstrator that will be scaled up into a 13-ton unmanned combat aerial vehicle for the Indian Air Force. The wind tunnel model shows semi-recessed engine configuration with an exhaust nozzle, and interestingly, the underbelly reveals two smaller internal weapons bays positioned next to the main central weapons bay, that could potentially house air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense. The Defence Secretary has inaugurated a state-of-the-art design and test facility at HALS Aero Engine Research and Development Centre in Bangalore. The facility spans over 10,000 square metres, and it houses special machines, in-house fabrication facility, and two test beds for testing HDFE-25 engine, and one test bed each for testing HDSE-1200, an upcoming Indo-French joint venture engine for Indian multi-role helicopter. Marine Electricals has secured a 31.85 crore rupees contract from Defence Ministry for the supply of six integrated bridge systems for Indian Navy's Teg and Shiwalik class frigates within the next 36 months. The integrated bridge system will integrate various navigation, communication, and tactical displays onto a single platform, providing enhanced situational awareness and improved decision making for the crew. Today's top three comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.